please explain something about the dark side of the moon. So the earth and the moon are tidally locked, which means that they rotate in such a manner that we can only see the same side of the moon at all times. We can never see the other t- other side of the moon. It was not so in the past. In the past, the two planets were the, the the planet and the moon were rotating at different speeds, but over time they got tidally locked. That's what happens. Uh, and so we see only one side of the moon, and therefore for the entirety of our existence as a species, the past two three million years, we have only seen one side of our moon and we we have always been wondering what's on the other side if there's any so in the past people did not know that the moon is is spherical but once we realized it is spherical we were all curious about what is on the other side so the other side is now well known we have taken photographs we have spent space, sent spacecraft in orbit around the moon and uh, there are very good high resolution images of the other side of the moon it's different from what we see on the near side of the moon there are different craters but it's more or less the same kind of surface so there is nothing special about the other side it's just that we don't get to see it but now you can look it up online you will see photographs of the dark side so uh, one of the things good one of the interesting things about the dark side is if if you are on the far side of the moon then it is a place where you have absolutely complete radio silence if you are on the near side of the moon, you are inundated with radio signals and other transmissions from the Earth. We are an extremely noisy species. Our transmissions go out in all directions in space. We are not efficient enough to conserve those trans- transmissions and direct them only on the planet, on the surface of the planet. So the Earth's uh, surrounding area is a very noisy region. Lots of it's you're con- constantly bombarded with radio transmissions and other transmissions throughout the electromagnetic spectrum, all originating from human activity on the surface of the planet. So, if you are on the far side of the moon, you are shielded from that, and therefore, it's a great place to do astrophysical experiments. It's a great place for uh, for for ex- for example searching for extraterrestrial radio transmissions and for doing other experiments which would not be disturbed by the electromagnetic noise that is emanating from our planet so that's why it's a great place on which to keep on, on which to place scientific ex- uh, instrumentation and do various experiments so that is one of the interesting things about the about the far side of the moon it's not dark it's just far it also receives as much sunlight as the side that we do see. So it's not dark. It's just that it's one of the popular ways of of uh, of terming it. So it's the far side of the moon. And uh, recently, uh, the, the Chinese have have sent a robotic spacecraft over there, a robotic lander. It's still active as as we speak right now. And hopefully, India also sends something there once we get our Chandrayaan three program moving. The Chandrayaan three program will be targeting the south pole region of the moon on the near side but eventually i hope we become ambitious enough to send future spacecraft on the far side and get our own images and other things from that from that side of the moon so that's all it is it's nothing special it's just the side that we don't see but it's very much like the near side the only special thing is that there is complete silence on the electromagnetic spectrum as of today